Alright, hello everybody, and welcome back to James's Minecraft Journal. This is actually take three, I think. Uh, I tried to record this episode last week, uh, but I deleted the footage, because... Why did I delete the footage again? I can't remember, but I, for some reason, thought it wasn't good enough, or whatever. Then I tried it again. Um, this time I deleted the footage because I recorded it and then realised... Well, I recorded it late at night and the audio was very, very, very quiet. And also, I kind of like recorded it and then like this the first bit and then like was going to come back to it and never did. So I thought, well, let's just start over. Why not? Um, what I was doing in that last deleted clip was I was gathering compressed ice so we can continue with these nether rails. Now, in making these nether rails, part of me thinks you know it'd be nice to put some sort of effort into it, make it look nice instead of just like you know, blo uh, random stone brick blocks everywhere and things like that. But honestly, having seen the trouble that some people have with nether rails, because some of them go quite long distances, I mean, seeing the trouble some people have, I, I'm i happy with this, honestly, just because it's, um, it does the job. It gets me from A to B, it's got a, a rail track, it's got ice if I want to uh, run uh, instead of take the minecart and uh, yeah that's basically all I need it to do I don't need it to look nice I go AF AFK anyway when I use this sometimes I'll just like hop into the cart and uh, you know continue along I've actually remembered what we were doing last episode because I just forgot there um, but I remember we were working at the, uh, the wither skeleton farm thingamabob and I think we'll just head over there. Alright, we're at the Stronghold now. Or not the Stronghold, the Nether Fortress. Oh, crumbs, there's already guys here. I remember what happened to my last, the first lot of footage. I remember I deleted it by accident. Um, I can't, oh yeah, because it was numbered. I numbered uh, 129 and I numbered episode 128, 129 as well. Because I forgot what episode number it was. And I deleted them both by accident. So yeah, big, big mess up there from me. As you can see, we've got potion effects, uh, or, yeah, buffs. Um, so, yeah, I right after I showed that trick in the last episode, the trick to break bedrock, I then discovered that bedrock on the nether ceiling doesn't actually count as a block, or so it seems. Uh, it seems to just let the beacon pass all the way through it, because as soon as I set up one beacon, it just went... It just happened. It worked. It was amazing. Um, so yeah, as you can see, we've got the buffs. Uh, it was nice to find out that trick, though, because at least we know it for if we ever need it again. Uh, but as you can see, we've got these buffs. We've got jump. Uh, jump boost isn't so important. It's just we. I could have had an extra one, and I thought might as well have jump boost as well. Although it does kind of put to pot these barriers because we can now jump over them. Uh, I might get rid of jump boost actually. Uh, but the other ones we've got regeneration and resistance, which are pretty valuable to be honest, as they uh, keep the player uh, well stocked in health. Um, we've got strength and speed, which are obviously well, speed's obviously useful for getting around. Strength basically allows me to one shot these guys. Oh, I've got a head! Did you see that? <laughs> oh, that's awesome! Oh, that is amazing. So yeah, we've now got like what's that? Five heads? Five? Yeah, five. Oops. Awesome. Alright, this is uh, coming together quite well, and I've not even used it that much. We've got our Super OP Sword, uh, Looting 3, Unbreaking 3, Smite 5, Mending. Uh, it works on most, well, it works on all skeletons, and it works on zombie pigmen, but it doesn't work on Blaze. So, unfortunately for Blaze, you still have to, like, kind of hit them, kill them in a few hits. Oh. Uh, oh. So many bad guys. Let's run away. Um, so yeah, I, apart from jump boost, I think everything is uh, very essential for this kind of farm. Um, I'll let one of them hit me and we'll see how much damage it does. Okay, it took off two hearts, but the the whole regeneration kind of negates the damage done by the wither effects, so it means that we don't actually really lose any hearts, which is very useful. Um, so yeah, that's, that's that. Is that a guy up there? Can we shoot him? No. Is this... Oh yeah, this is uh, an infinity bow. I keep forgetting. <laughs> I keep forgetting I've changed bows. Um, 
so now the the worst part of it all though is we still have to get rid of spawning spots um, we've still got to place down a ton of half as you can see up there we've got a load of half slabs down uh, as you can see down there we've got a load of half slabs down we just need to keep doing that and it'll hopefully make spawning here a lot better like I'm not sure if we have to place yeah we must have to place slabs over there as well and over there, yeah, there's there's so much still to do. Uh, I, I, I couldn't really find a better fortress, to be honest. This was the best one I could find. And it's already, I mean, it's given us, what, five already? So it's, it's doing all right. Uh, so yeah, that's the update. Oh, yeah, and also one other thing. I brought a cow from the overworld. Hello. Do not leave. Do not leave. Um, yeah, I brought a cow from the overworld. Uh, I did make it a portal. I think that was in the ep last episode. I made a portal to the the overworld, and it it didn't actually come out anywhere near cows. It did come out in an ice ice plains biome by uh, one of those new ice igloo things. The only problem was it was it was a dud because like it spawned the upper layer, but it didn't spawn the lower layer where all the treasure is. So I got absolutely flip all from it. So yep. That was pretty cool to find, but not that exciting. Uh, so yeah, that is the Nether project, where we will hopefully get loads more heads, be able to fight loads more withers, get loads more beacons, and improve efficiency in the world. Yeah, this blinking thing has been sitting here since goodness knows when. I need to, I need to get move on with it. Um, but yeah, I need to get move on with this city as well. Uh, we've made good progress in the last... Let, let me think. Let's let's have a think. I started this project uh, in IRL time about a year and... Yeah, about a year ago I started this project. Actually, over a year ago. A year and a couple of months. I guess it's a year and a couple of months since I started this series. So, yeah, this, this project's been going on for over a year. Um, we need to kind of get move on with it. Um... Something I really do want to finish at some point. I want to make it functional as well. Uh, I do have a few ideas for builds other than this one. It's just this was one that I wanted to do uh, imminently. Um, or immediately, I guess would be the better word. And it's looking pretty good, I would say. Uh, I mean, like, I don't claim to be an amazing builder, but uh, this is probably as good as a, good a job as I could have done. Uh, it kind of looks a bit boxy. Um, oops running into the fountain. The fountain could be a little bit better. I might improve the centre bit somehow. I might try and make the fountain look a little nicer. Uh, but overall I would say it's what I'm going with. Um, it's I, I don't think with my level of skill I don't think I could have done done a better job so I'm, I'm happy with it. Um, we've still got to do the interior. Uh, we've got... see I've got... oh it's so annoying on the Expanse server I've got so much like Andesite and diorite here. I've I'm always like scrounging for it. Uh, we've got to do the windows. We've got to um, do the seating, the pews, the front bit, everything. <laughs> There's still a lot to do, and the, this part of the roof. Uh, and see, the problem is uh, today, on this day in particular, in this week, I've got a lot of editing to do. I need to edit like another 20 ultra hardcore games I got another series coming out soon which I need to edit it's it, the this this series which should come out hopefully next week although it does require footage from another person and I'm still waiting for this other person to give me their footage um it should be it should be good it should be good um I mean I'm not sure how how good it'll actually be but I'm hoping it'll it'll just be something a little different something to just chill with uh, the episodes will be short, quite fairly short, so they should be hopefully watchable. Is there no stained glass? Am I going to have to go and... Uh, I don't think I've got stained glass. I need to go get some of that. It should be fairly watchable. I'm going to try and do a few unique things with uh, editing and, and that. Or when I say unique, I mean like things I would normally do. Uh, oh, oh, we brought the sword. Thankfully it's mending, because I, I wouldn't want to waste it on... Um, on anything else, which you know, in theory, you, all you need is like a bunch of mending equipment, and then you're set. You don't need to like use diamonds or anything anymore. In theory, 
but believe it or not, it's not actually that easy to get mending books. So maybe when I've got a collection of mending books, I'll have a full set of diamond armor, a full set of diamond tools, a bow, everything. <laughs> and we can just go from there. Wait, what? What the heck? I'm stuck in a block. Oh. I'm still stuck in a block. <laughs> what? This is so weird. That was weird. 1.9 glitch or something. It's still it's still like that. What? That's so bad. I'm just gonna run. Stuff the minecart. Hang on, if we um if we get rid of the minecart and put it back down again. There we go. Yeah, that was weird. Oh yeah, check it out. The clock actually works with Optifine. Look, top left, 1.9, Optifine, HDUB1. And look, the clock is working. I'm pretty happy about that. That means compasses will work too. I was fishing earlier this week, so I guess I'll just show off what I got. I can't actually remember what I got. I think I got a fire aspect book, which is pretty cool. I don't think I've got many fire aspect books. So as you can see, a bunch of fishing rods. Uh, we got just basic lure to all oh, the mending. It's pretty good. Um, the bows are basically always OP, except for that one. Um, and that one. Well, even then, that one's OP. Oh, you know what? We should try some bow boosting. Oh, I've not done bow boosting before. Oh! Has this got punch on it? No, it doesn't. Yeah, we should try some bow boosting sometime. Uh, we've got some more frost walker bits. I seem to get... Oh, look at that. Whew, sharpness 4. Yeah, we seem to get a lot of frost walker. So that's 2 in that chest. And there's definitely 1 in this. Efficiency 4, that's good. Yeah, there. Frost walker again. So, that's kind of interesting. But, uh I'm not sure if that's that's exactly what the game code says, if Frostwalker is really less rare than Mending. It would kind of make sense, I guess. Okay, just for reference, I did a first harvest of this uh, Chorus Flower Farm, and I got a profit of 19 Chorus Flowers, which is not enough, unfortunately, to grow the Chorus plants here and here, in the place that will be... Um, the place where we get the chorus uh, fruit. So I'm not sure what that means. I still don't really have a good idea of how I want this this to work. So and also like we need to harvest the chorus flowers and then get rid of the stalks. So I'm not sure how we're going to do that. Maybe with water, or I might have to redo the farm or something. I, d I don't know. We'll just we'll just go with it for now. But anyway, we got 19 chorus flowers. I should actually set up a chest. Okay, so for the windows. I'm just going to do the same pattern as I did up there with the, the cross shape. Uh, no Celtic cross this time, just a standard uh, cross without a circle. And like the window over there is kind of not the same, which might get some people who are OCD, but all oh good, I'm not. Well, I am to an extent. I think everyone is to an extent, but... I'm not to a great extent, if you know what I mean, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Yeah, we need to do one down. We need to do, yeah, one there. And one there. I mean, if I was really, like, into it, I would do, like, a cool stained glass pattern as it stands. I'm not that good or that into it, so we'll just uh, stick with that. Uh oh, that wasn't good. Oh, he had a sword. That's why he took so much damage. Oh. I wish my hotbar setup remained consistent with PvP as it did with, like, building. Unfortunately, it doesn't. There we go. Easy peasy. Uh, 
Okay, awesome. Awesome, right? <laughs> it's not a complete failure, right? Uh, absolutely sucks. Hmm. How can we save this? Are we going to make it a tower? We could try and make it like a tower. So have like a, a lower roof down there. And then have that as kind of like a tower at the back maybe. Then again it should technically be higher if it's going to be a tower. Um, I give up. See you later. Hope you enjoyed watching.